As easy as that. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Isaac Angel and I'm here with Arthur from Brooklyn Camper Vans. He'll take it away. We have an amazing show for you today. Hey guys, my name is Arthur. I'm the co-founder of Brooklyn Camper Vans. Over here behind me, we have a camper van that my co-founder and I designed. This is called the Modern Van. It's our spec van here at the PARB show. It's got a few cute things to it and a few new pieces of technology. I'm gonna walk you guys through it. First off, this is built on a 2024 Mercedes Sprinter all-wheel drive vehicle. And on the outside, you can see up top, we have floodlights on a Vantec roof rack. On top, there's solar panels, but also marine grade solar panels that makes for a walkable roof deck. Up on top, there's 360 degree security cameras, infrared night vision, satellite internet, built-in Starlink Rome, as well as AC unit. But enough of me talking, let's go inside and take a look. So over right here we have the dinette, both seats swivel, you can swivel this table around to make for a makeshift space to either dine or work at. On this side we have an indoor shower. You have the Nebbia shower head that uses a gallon a minute, saves 50% less water. These are real tiles, and on the bottom we have the Laveo dry flush toilet. It acts like a diaper genie, vacuum seals everything, pushes it down, you're good for about 15 to 20 uses. Because it's self-contained, the toilet comes right out. So you have extra space when you shower. Um, fits the average person, but again, all these vans are custom, so it's ba built based on your needs, style, and budget. All right, inside here, you come take a look. Uh, well, to preface everything, this van is built with a ton of batteries. We got 15,000 watt hours, which is equivalent to 1,300 amps. So everything's run off of the batteries. So we got induction stove here, hot water heater on the bottom, and also microwave here. And the next big draw of electricity is a 12 volt uh, Dometic RTX AC unit. You can run that baby for up to 35 hours, no problem. That's again, thanks to the large battery system we have. On the bottom here, we have the fridge. It's got a fridge and freezer inside. Standard Dometic fridge. Over here is all storage. Underneath is storage as well, plus the hot water heater. Now we have a few things on our control panel. This is the gray release button, so if the gray water is full, just press the button, dumps out the water underneath the van. I use biodegradable materials like soap, toothpaste, um, so feel free to dump that anywhere. The gray water tank is underneath the vehicle, so in cold winter days, if it's sub-freezing, press this button and it'll thaw out the gray water so that things could drain properly. This is a marine system. Uh, basically monitors the fresh and gray water level, but also the pitch and roll of the van so you know how level the vehicle is. On this side we have a few more monitors as well. Um, this is the EcoFlow power station control system so you can see what you're inputting and outputting. Right now we're at 96% battery, good for almost 8 days of battery time. Below it is the Webasto temperature controller which sets uh, your temperature. Um, everything is fully insulated. As you could tell, um, you know, right now I'm 5'7". This ceiling height's for someone who is 6'2". Uh, we have a ton of insulation up top and a ton of insulation on the floor, but also a rock wall, four inches of rock wall on both sides. That's an R15 value. I mean, that's pretty much four times more insulation than any of the mass manufacturing RV companies out there. So yeah, it's ready for all seasons. And on top of the rock wall, we do uh, high quality plywood. So you could screw into this, hang furniture. You don't have to worry about, you know, composite wood breaking down over the years. This is high quality material. But on the finish, 
is lime wash. That creates this nice texture look, which a lot of our clients love it. It's all custom built. You know, if you look at the builds that we're doing now, more and more clients are choosing these lime wash paint. It's really catching on. We got a projector here. So, let's say it's raining outside. It's time for movie night. You pull the projector down. There's a hidden plate of metal right here. You snap the projector right on, and then you can watch movies. It's cordless, so, and it's a smart projector, so it has all the apps on there. You can stream Netflix, and you can stream it in HD anywhere because you have satellite internet. We have a built-in Starlink in here, the Starlink Roam. Satellite internet is always on. It's got faster speeds than I have at home in New York up to 250 megabits per second internet. So you can really work remote, you know, make calls, watch movies, and there's no dead spots. So, you know, you don't have to worry about safety if you're at a place where there's no cell phone signal as well. All lights are dimmable, so you can have the perfect movie night mode. There's recessed accent lighting all along these bed capsules here. So on the floor toe kicks, you have lighting. Up top you have lighting, and you can really control everything with an app. Uh, so you can really set the mood for movie night. Speaking of which, a lot there's a lot of apps here that make this truly a smart home. One of the neatest apps is the EcoFlow Power Station app, where you can really control everything on your phone. Nice thing with satellite internet is that you can remotely monitor the temperature of the van. So let's say if you have a pet and you're going out for a hike, you can monitor temperature, make sure your pet's okay. But you could also monitor the battery system off of this app. So you can monitor how much battery there is, input, output. You could click into the output and turn certain things on and off as well. It's also cameras too. So you could have indoor cameras, outdoor cameras, monitor everything through the app. So you know that your van's safe, your car's safe, and any other wild animals that are and you keep domesticated in your van safe as well. Before I finish up here, also got to mention that the bed flips up into a couch. How easy is it to convert the bed into a sofa that yeah. you mentioned? Uh, so the thing is you do have to move it, do it from, from the, the back. back. So okay. I'll show you. Earlier we are talking about the projector and movie night. Just put this up and you have your couch. And you have a perfect movie night. All you need is some popcorn from the microwave and you're set. So here's the 15,000 watts or 1,300 amps. This is the EcoFlow power station. You can see right away how simple it is. Each one of these is 5,000 watts or 433 amps. And it's really plug and play. So you don't want, most people probably don't need this much battery. You can start with five. And if you want to add in another one, well, you just put in the battery, bolt it down, plug it in and strap it and that's all there is to it and what you're looking at right there that's the brain so usually you have five components lots of thick wires instead you get one box and it's an all-in-one solution so no separate MPPT DC to DC inverter or anything else like that here's the distribution box you have the fuses the breaker it's pretty much just like a home a simple system to use and you can control it with the monitor and your app. Best thing is that not only is it lightweight, simple, and compact, but it's also got a five-year warranty. So I know a lot of builders out there, uh, they all do the electrical system in their own way. When that happens, it's a little bit harder service. If anything were to go wrong with it, you might have to call your builder. If they don't pick up, then you might be in Nevada with no AC in your fridge, not working. Well, with this, call them, big company, they'll pick up and they'll happily service your van. If at some point it breaks, which I truly believe all systems break at some point, well, it's plug and play. They'll send in a new unit and you just put it in. So it's as easy as that. Over here, we have the 40 gallon water tank. And, oh yeah, I would just like to note, there's some imperfections here and there. This van is still a week from being completed. In. The original van we're gonna take to the RV show got sold. So I literally registered this at the DMV 7 a.m. before coming here. This is the water fill right here. Gravity fill. Uh, we also provide a hose and a water filter. So any water that goes in the van, whether it's the water that you shower with or the ones that you wash your dishes with, it is all filtered and potable. Back there we have the brains of the Starling all wired in and pretty much everything else you hear is storage 
my business partner and I road tripped around the U.S. and Mexico. And in the van, we fit all of our summer gear, winter gear, two snowboards, dog food, fun things like DJ lasers, fog machines, one wheel. And we were all able to pack it into the van, as well as every tool that we use to possibly fix the van as well. Shore power outlet right here. Typical outlet, you know, it's basically as easy as charging a laptop. I show you the roof deck as well. Up top, we have four solar panels. Two of them are walkable, so you can you know, step on it, put a table up there, put chairs up there, have dinner up there, or do yoga, sleep up there, whatever you want. And then two 100 watt panels up in the front that are non walkable. The total is 420 watts. Again, it's all custom based off your electrical needs. On the 170 wheelbase, we've put 800 watts in the past. And yeah, I'll talk a little bit about the custom options that we offer. Um, as you can see, this has very strong aesthetic design, but it's really based off of what your design and your aesthetic is. And also in terms of options, like you only get what you pay for. So, you know, if you want satellite, internet, home theater, and AC, and the most the biggest battery system out there, go ahead, you can do that. But if you want to save some money and you want maybe more storage, you know, maybe take the battery off. And in terms of aesthetics, you could choose different options, you know, ceiling, flooring, if you want ceiling and slats, what color, if you want walls, different colors, all the appliance colors, shower tiles, countertop, even the material. We could do butcher block, different stains, Corian, Avenite, different materials, even paper stone, recycled paper. What about the vehicles? Do customers bring their own vehicle or you provide vehicles as well? Yeah, that's a really good question. So we only work on the Mercedes Sprinter, 144 wheelbase and 170 wheelbase. We used to do other vehicles as well. We've done about 20 Promasters. But with the way that our van is built, it's really meant to be able to be self-sustainable, and not be plugged into an RV park. That means getting out in nature, boondocking, and going wherever you desire. So, with that being said, you kind of you know wheel drive vehicle. You need the ability to uh, drive out there, but also you can upgrade too. So you can have a two inch suspension lift, upgrade to all terrain tires. You have good bridge KO2 tires or black rhino wheels. You could add things on the exterior as well. So. We don't have too much stuff on the outside for this van, but you could add a winch, a front bumper, nudge lights, floodlights, exterior storage. So you could add, uh, let's say, two bike racks, ski rack, snowboard rack, um, pretty much anything you want. Uh, we do. We do everything in-house in Brooklyn, so we're a one-stop shop for both exterior modifications and interior modifications. And typically, what is your turnaround time, like from the order to delivery? Yes, yeah, so we just moved to a new warehouse, triple the size in Williamsburg and Brooklyn. So for the first time in a pretty long time, we have availability, and then our bills typically take 12 weeks. Let's say you book it in March, you'll have your van ready for adventure in June. And how do they find you? How do customers find you? You can find us at brooklyncampervans.com, at Brooklyn Campervans on all social media, so Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest, and I mean the whole nine yards. And finally, if you are interested and want to build out your van, we have an online van builder tool. It shows you all the options that we offer, the price, what it looks like. You click it kind of like a McDonald's menu or when you build out your own Sprinter at the dealership website and it shows you what the total cost is. So you have a very clear idea of what you're getting into, what your bill looks like and what the cost is. And then we'll have a conversation and see, you know, if it's the right fit and I'm happy to walk you through all of that. Thank you so much, Arthur. Uh, this has been amazing. I'm sure our viewers will definitely contact you and uh, hopefully we'll see a lot of those beasts on the road. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, see you on the road.